Guys, in this video, I wanted to take some time to do a long-term review of the 1791 Gun Leather Holster. Uh, you can see here, this is one of the holsters that I have for the 1911. In fact, the gun that I have in this holster is my TSOS 1911A1. Everyone is familiar with the 1911 pistol. It is the most copied handgun design in history. It is super durable. It is a gun known throughout the world just based on its design. And anytime we're talking about a 1911, we're talking about something that has a track record of durability. And something that goes along with that that also has a good track record of durability is the holster that I use for my 1911s. Uh, this holster is one that I have had for several years. Uh, I know that a lot of folks out there that have been following my channel for a while have heard me talk about 1791 gun leather. Uh, in full disclosure, I am an affiliate through them, but long before I became an affiliate, I was using their stuff. Okay. These holsters are proven reliable. They are very durable. They are not some cheap, flimsy holster that you'll get from the discount counter at your store. Uh, these holsters are solid made. I want you to look at the thickness of this leather. It is a very solid made, very durable holster. Now, some of the things that I wanted to point out on mine in particular are some of the wear marks, some of the scratches and things like that, just to show you how well this thing is held up. Uh, again, as I mentioned, if you see any of my range videos to where I am out with one of my 1911s, chances are this is the holster that it has gone down to the range with me. Uh, I have used this when I've carried a 1911 for my concealed carry weapon. I have used this for going to the range. Uh, it's just a very solid holster. Uh, you'll notice right here, you're going to see some wear. This is where the belt has gone through these loops on many occasions and it has worn off some of the finish. Uh, it is uh, still holding up very well even though it has you know gotten a little worn there but that's to be expected with leather especially using a leather belt running a belt in and out of those loops you're going to get some of the wear on those. You're also going to notice some of the other scratches and marks that are on this holster as well. Uh, you can see there a little nick, you can see a scratch there, and it is because this holster has been used. Okay, it is one that is a solid holster, it is a solid design, it has held up for quite some time. You can see another nick there where I've gotten into something, um, and you know, it's, it's, it's done great. Let's focus a little bit on the stitching, okay? Because if the stitching of a holster does not hold up, then your holster's not gonna hold up. And you can see here on this particular holster, even with the wear and things like that, the stitching is held up very, very well. I'm just gonna kinda go around the holster a little bit to show you a close-up of that. I'm not hiding anything from you on this. You can see a few nicks here around the edge. There again years of use. You see the 1791 logo there. Rolling it over, you can see here there are some permanent impressions in the leather from where the 1911, the safeties on them, have gone in and made permanent impressions on the sweat guard. And of course, if that sweat guard was not there, then that would be your skin that those safeties would make that impression on. So that's another good design about the 1791 holster you know particularly the one for the 1911 that mechanical safety that is on your 1911s that can hurt if it's pressed directly against your skin so that sweat guard is something that helps to prevent that uh, this holster love it i love it uh, i have got several different 1791 gun leather holsters for various guns that i own and you know this is just one that i wanted to pull out and wanted to give you guys a little bit closer look at because of the fact that, as I mentioned, it's easy to take something new out of the box, show it to you guys, but I wanted to take this one out after years of use, show you how it's holding up, talk about how it's holding up, and that sort of thing. Okay, just to show you how the gun sets into the holster. Uh, something I do want to show you, this cut, the way that this is curved here, 
this is as it should be. Uh, if you have, and I've seen holster manufacturers out there, some others, they'll come up and it'll be a little bit higher on around the trigger guard where you've got a lot more leather here. But this is how it should be on the, a holster, uh, particularly with a 1911. You can see here that the trigger itself is completely covered, but at the same time, I do have plenty of room to get a grip on that gun to draw that firearm. Okay, you need to be able to get that good grip underneath that trigger guard, get a high purchase on that gun when you go to draw it. That way your grip is gonna be right where it needs to be. Okay, they've done it right. You know, this gun, uh, this holster, it is solid. This is a solid setup. Uh, to show you another point, you can see the magazine release. Okay, they do not have the holster where it's going to hit that magazine release. Yes, it's close, but I can even press down on that. Don't you look. I am not hitting that magazine release, okay? You're not going to have to worry about that holster getting and depressing that magazine release and dropping that magazine out of your gun, okay? Just as it was, if I needed to, though, okay, right here, I put my thumb there. You can see that will release it. However, that holster is not going to press that magazine release. But, guys, this is just a quick video that I wanted to do just to revisit the 1791 gun leather just again guys show you some close-ups of the imperfections some of the wear that this holster has undergone you can see a little bit here around the edges uh, you know these holsters are pretty slick around the edges but when you get uh, putting them to use uh, then you're going to get the scuffs you're going to get the scratches and things like that I'm going to leave a link down in the description of this video to 1791 gun leather go over tell them I said hello uh, you can check out this holster on their website. I'll also put an Amazon link down the uh, below this video as well. But guys, let me know your thoughts. Are you a fan of 1791 gun leather? Love to hear from you. I know I'm a big fan of them. I think they make a great holster, especially for the price. Guys, thanks for watching. Check out the rest of the videos on my channel. Check out all the links down in the description below. Leave me a comment, share the video, and we'll see you next time.